This Evercade content is sponsored by Evercade Evolution, the Evercade magazine made by Evercade enthusiasts. Check them out on Amazon now. Hi guys, hello and welcome back to another Evercade feature right here on the channel. So it's been so weak, hasn't it? With releases, we've had the Atomic Edition VS, we've had Dual Collections 1 and 2, and now we have two Dual Carts. Um, okay, so this is Good Boy Galaxy and Witch and Wiz, and we have Trusty Specs, Demons of Astaborg, and Aste Bros. So both of these contain two games. We have, of course, in the past only had two other dual cards. That was um, Owl's Awakening and Cathedral, and Zeta Crisis and Tanglewood, of course. Okay, so <clears throat> you're not here to see that. You're here to see the reaction to these two. So I'll be honest, um, at the first cartridge, Good Boy Galaxy and Witch and Wiz. I really love the look of both of them. Um, Goodbye, Gal Goodbye. Good Boy Galaxy is basically a little platform, a cute little dog. You run around collecting things. Um, Witch and Wiz is a little puzzle game, as you can see on the back there by the screenshots. Good Boy Galaxy is the one I'm really looking forward to. Um, puzzle games and mate, I don't mind them, but they've got to be something like special to hold my attention, to be honest. Um, I haven't got the patience. Uh, two grand Evercade Adventures. Two grand Evercade Adventures await. Take to the stars with a 32-bit exploration platformer, Good Boy Galaxy, and tax your brain with the tricky 8-bit puzzles of Witch and Wiz. So, like I say, it's definitely going to be Good Boy Galaxy for me with this one. But um, yeah, Witch and Wiz is interesting. It does look like a cute kind of little game. If they're cute, they tend to hold my attention a little bit longer. Yeah, okay. <clears throat> and then we go on to Demons of Asterburg and Aste Brothers. So it says 16-bit games, two games included. Um, live the 16-bit legends of Asterburg on Evercade. Take on the demonic hordes in Demons of Asterburg's challenging platformer action and brave the ever-changing dungeons of Asterbros to discover the origins of Asterburg. So obviously the two games are related. And looking at the screenshots right away, it's very, very Castlevania, isn't it? really Castlevania um, type of games and I am looking forward to both of them. Um, I have no preference over Demons compared to Astro Bros. Um, I'm really looking forward to playing them both equally the same. I do love games like Castlevania. I'm not amazing at them but over the years I've got that a little bit better. We of course have like the save and load states on these so that's like a lot better again. So yeah, um, for me these are a hit. All four games are a hit. And I can't wait to actually get playing them. Um, they have been overshadowed, obviously, by everything of a certain uh, Duke nature. But, hey, you know, Blaze have delivered on their promise of having uh, three sets of cartridges, a handheld and a new machine, all within two weeks. Anyone from Blaze watching, you guys have knocked it out the park, but you're completely nuts doing like a lineup like that. <laughs> um, you certainly throw my content creation schedule like right, 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 right through the wall this month, but uh, that's my problem, isn't it? Um, yeah, so listen, guys, check these two cards out. Let me know in the comments below. Have you got them? What are your favourites? What's the best one? Demons of Astaborg or Astabros? Um, do you fall like me? Good Boy Galaxy, a little bit of platformer action over Witch and Wiz, a little bit of puzzly. Let me know. Keep it real. Keep it retro. And I'll see you all next time.